Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee Advanced Level of Mathematics. Today we'll continue in the differentiation. And from now on, I will record my videos in English and Cantonese version as well. And the Cantonese versions will be start at this time here. In these sections, I will give you a summary of the differentiation of chapter 9. After the last 10 section, you have done the differentiation of trigonometry, product rules, chance rules, and so on. And now, this section, we will talk about a mixed exercise. I will go through some exercise with you so that you can have a summary of the differentiation chapter. Our exercise will have question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and number 8. So prepare your paper, pens, and calculator. We are going to do the exercise. Question number one, we try to differentiate with respect to x, a, log x squared. So dy by dx is equal to, we differentiate this one first, so we got two, and we differentiate the whole thing, so we got one over x. So the dy by dx is equal to 2 over x. And then b, x squared, size 3x, we have dy by dx. According to the chance rule, we have x squared and 3 cosine 3x plus size 3x. And we differentiate x squared, we got 2x. So the answer would be 2x psi 3x plus 3x squared cosine 3x. Question number 2. Given that 2y equal to x minus size x cosine x and x is within 0 to 2 pi, we show that dy by dx equal to size square x. So we have y equal to half x minus psi x cosine x dy by dx is equal to half this is 1 minus by the chance rule we have size x cosine x but this one is minus plus cosine x, this side x differentiate is cosine x. So we have half 1 plus size x cosine x. This one should be side x, right? Side x, side x. So it's equal to half 1 plus psi square x minus cosine square x and we know that 1 is equal to psi square x plus cosine square x plus psi square x minus cosine square x so this is come out cancel out we got 2 psi square x and multiply by half so we got psi square x here proved question 2b find the coordinate of the point of inflection of the curve we know that dy by dx is equal to psi square x from part a that means we differentiate the second time we got d square y by dx square equal to 2 psi x cosine x and at the point of infection at the point of infection we have d square y by dx square equal to 2 psi x cosine x is equal to 0 therefore psi x is equal to 0 or cosine x equal to 0 and we have psi x equal to 0, we have x equal to 0, or x equal to pi. 
and cosine x equal to zero, x equal to pi over two, and x equal to three pi over two. But the range of x is from zero to two pi. This is not include zero, so this one is rejected. So we have only three points, x equal to pi, x equal to pi over two, or x equal to 3 pi over 2. If x equal to pi over 2 and y is equal to half x minus psi x cosine x. So it's equal to half and this one x is pi over 2 and this one is equal to 0 so we got pi over 4. So one point of infection is that pi x equal to pi over 2 and y equal to pi over 4. This is the first point of infection. And the second point is x equal to pi, y equal to half, x minus psi x cosine x. This one is also come to 0, so we got y is equal to half of pi. So it's pi over 2. So the second point of infection is pi and pi over 2. The third point of infection is 3 pi over 2 equal to x and y equal to half x minus psi x cosine x. So it's equal to half 3 pi over 2 because this one is equal to 0. So we got 3 pi over 4 for the y. So the third point of infection is 3 pi over 2 for the x and 3 pi over 4 for the y. We got 3 point of infection. Question number 3. Differentiation with respect to x. A. Psi x over x and x is greater than 0. So dy by dx is equal to x squared and x cosine x minus we keep this one side x and we dx so it's equal to one so the answer should be x cosine x minus side x over x square and question b we have log one over x square plus nine and we let u equal to 1 over x squared plus 9. So y is equal to log u dy by du is equal to 1 over u. And du by dx is equal to x squared plus 9 multiply by 0 minus 1 and this one is 2x over x squared plus 9 to the square so we have 2x over x squared plus 9 to the square for du by dx and dy by dx is equal to dy by du multiply by du by dx. So it's equal to 1 over u and u is equal to this one. 1 over u is x squared plus 9 over 1 multiplied by du by dx is 2x x squared plus 9 to the square. So it's equal to 2x over x squared plus 9. This is the answer. Question number 4 here. The function f is defined for positive real values of x by fx and equal to 12 log x plus x to the power 3 over 2. And we find the set of values of x for which the function x is an increasing function. If function x is an increasing function, what this means is that when x is increased, the fx is increased. 
and x is decreased, fx is decreased. This is the increasing function definition. So we know that x is greater than zero because it's a positive real number. So fx is equal to 12 log x plus x to the power 2 over 2. And we know that fx plus some real number, for example, x1, and x1 is a positive real number, we have 12 log x plus 1 plus x1, and plus x plus x1 to the power 3 over 2. So we know that the 12 log x plus x1 is greater than 12 log x. And also x plus x1 to the power 3 over 2 is greater than x to the power 3 over 2. The fx plus x1 is greater than fx. Therefore, fx is an increasing function for all x is greater than 0. Question 4b. Find the coordinate of point of infection of the function fx. Remind you that the fx is equal to 12 log x plus x to the power 3 over 2. So the so the differentiation of this fx is equal to f dash h and then it's equal to 12 over x plus 3 over 2 x to the power half. And the second derivative of it is f dash dash x is equal to minus 12 x to the power minus 2 plus half multiplied by 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 over square root x. And we got the answer is minus 48 plus 3x to the power 3 over 2 over 4x squared. And in the point of infection, this one is equal to 0. So we got is minus 40x plus 3x 3 over 2 over 4x squared is equal to 0. This means this one has to be 0. So minus 48 plus 3x power 3 over 2 is equal to 0. And then 3x 3 over 2 is equal to 48. So x 3 over 2 is equal to 16. So x is equal to 16 2 over 3 and equal to, to the square root of 256. This is the x value. And we substitute the x value into the equation fx equal to 12 log x plus x power 3 over 2. We substitute this one into here. So we got the fx is equal to log 256 to the power 12 over 3 plus 256 to the power 1 third and 3 2. So it's equal to log 256 to the power 4 plus 256 to the power of half. And so it's equal to log 2 to the power 32 plus 16. So it's equal to 32 log 2 plus 16. This is the y value when x is equal to this one. So the point of infection is equal to keep root 256. This is the x value. And the y value should be 32 log 2 plus 16. This is the point of infection. Question number 5. fx equal to e to the power 0.5x minus x squared and x belong to a real number. We find the f dash x. 
So f dash x is equal to 0.5 e to the power 0.5x minus 2x. So it's equal to e to the power 0.5x over 2 minus 2x. And b part by evaluation f dash 6 and f dash 7, we show that the curve with the equation y equal to fx has a stationary point as x equal to p, where p is within 6 and 7. We got f dash 6 is equal to e to the power 0.5 multiplied by 6 over 2 minus 2 multiplied by 6. So it's equal to e to the power 3 over 2 minus 12 and it's equal to e to the power 3 minus 24 over 2. So it's equal to 20.9 24 over 2 and this one is less than 0. And if we have f dash 7 is equal to e to the power 0.57 over 2 minus 2 multiplied by 7, so it's e to the power 3.5 .3, over 2 minus 14, and equal to e to the power 3.5 minus 28 over 2, and this one is greater than 0. So, f dash 6 and f dash 7 have different size because this one is negative and this one is positive so it's different size therefore we have y equal to fx has a stationary point at p where p is greater than 6 less than 7 we have f dash p is equal to 0 so it's a stationary point between the p greater than 6 and less than 7. Question number 6. The curve C has equation y equal to fx, where fx equal to 3 log x plus 1 over x. x is greater than 0. The point p is a stationary point on C. Calculate the x coordinate of p. If it's a stationary point, so the f dash x should be equal to 0, we got f dash x is equal to 3 over x minus 1 over x square is equal to 3x minus 1 over x square. And if this one is equal to 0, 3x minus 1 over x square is equal to 0. That means 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And uh, x is equal to 1 over 3. This is the coordinates of x at the point P with a stationary point. And part B, the point Q on C has an x coordinate of 1. Find the equation of the normal to C at point Q. We have the f dash x is equal to 3x minus 1 over x squared. And the slope of the tangent as x equal 1 is mt and it is equal to 3 times 1 minus 1 over 1 square is equal to 2. We know that the slope of the normal at x equal to 1, the slope of normal as x equal to 1 is m normal is equal to minus 1 over the m of tangent, so it's equal to minus half. And we have to find when x equal to 1, what is the value of y. So when x equal to 1, y is equal to 3 log 1 plus 1. So it's equal to 1. 
So it should be S L O P E. By the Pons loop form, we have Y minus Y1 is equal to M of normals X minus X1. And X1 and Y1 is equal to 1 here. So we have Y minus 1 equal to, and the slope of the normal is minus half, it's minus half X minus 1. So we got y is equal to minus half x plus 3 over 2. This is the equation of the normal as the point x equal 1, y equal 1. Question number 7. If population P is going at the rate of 9% each year at the time t years, may be approximately by the formula P equal to P0, multiplied by 1.09 to the power of t, and t is greater than or equal to zero. Where p is regarded as a continuous function of t, and p zero is the population of the time when it starts, t equal to zero. Find an expression for t in terms of p and p zero. So p is equal to p zero, 1.09 to the power t, we take log, so log p is equal to log p0, 1.09 to the power t, so it's equal to log p0 plus t log 1.09. t multiplied by log 1.09 equal to log p minus log p0 and t is equal to log p minus log p0 over log 1.09. So we find t in terms of p and p0. Part b, find the type capital T years when the population has doubled from its value as t equal to zero given your answer to three significant figures. So the population is double, so P is equal to 2P0. And T is equal to, so it's log 2P0 minus log P0 over log 1.09. And it's equal to log 2 over log 1.09 and we use the calculator to calculate this thing we got 8.04 years to three significant figure five as a multiple of p0 the rate of change dp by dt as type t equal to capital t and we know that capital t is equal to 8.04 or equal to log 2 over log 1.09 from the part B. And P equal to P0, 1.09 to the power T. DP by DT is equal to P0, 1.09 to the power T multiplied by log 1.09. When T is equal to capital T, we substitute it capital T into this T here, so we got the dP by dT is equal to P0, 1.09 to the power log 2 over log 1.09, multiplied by log 1.09. And this one, because 1.09 to the power log 2 over log 1.09, this one should be equal to 2, so we got P0 multiplied by 2 multiplied by log 1.09. So you take out your calculator to calculate the log 1.09, you got this is, and multiplied by 2, you got this is 0 0.172 to the power, uh, multiplied by P0. Question number 8, given that's y equal to x, Side x to the power square show that 1 minus x square d 
d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx minus 2 is equal to 0. And I remind you that y equal to x side x dy by dx is equal to 1 over square root 1 minus x square. So if y equal to x side x square dy by dx is equal to 2x psi x multiplied by 1 over square root 1 minus x square and equal to 2x psi x over square root 1 minus x square and d square y by dx square is equal to 2 square root 1 minus x square multiplied by 1 over square root 1 minus x square plus 2x x psi x multiplied by half multiplied by 1 minus x square to the half over 1 minus x square and we simplify it, we got 2 multiplied by 1 minus x squared to the half plus 2x x psi x over 1 minus x squared to the 2 thirds. Okay, therefore we substitute in the equation 1 minus x squared multiplied by d squared y by dx squared minus x dy by dx minus 2. So we got this one is d squared y by dx. So this one is multiplied by 1 minus x squared. Okay. And multiply this whole thing, right? This is 2, 1 minus x squared. And it's half plus 2x arc side x over 1 minus x squared to the 2 third and minus x and dy by dx. We got dy by dx is this one here. So it's 1 minus square root 1 minus x squared and this minus 2. So we multiply everything else we got is 2 1 minus x square to the half and plus 2x arc psi x minus 2x arc psi x minus 2 1 minus x square to the half over 1 minus x square to the half. And this one cancel out. This one also cancel out. So it's equal to 0 over 1 minus x square to the half. It's equal to 0. So we prove that this whole thing is equal to 0. 早上,歡迎大家回來我Learn Advanced level 嘅 mathematics, advanced level 數學。我們繼續微積分這個課題。由現在開始,我將會錄在我的video在英文版和廣東話版的。如果大家想聽英文版的話,是回到這個video的開頭,就是英文版。經過了之前十個section,講關於differentiation,微積分,我們今天就會
所以係二 over x 呢個就係 dy by dx。B part x square sin 三 x， 我哋 by 個 chance rule， 我哋揾到 dy by dx 咯，係等於啦，係寫前面啦 ，d 後面 d 後面我哋會有三啦 ，sin 就變 cos 三 x。跟住加比寫後面啦，就係 sin 3x 啦 ，d 前面就係 2x， 所以我哋就會得出啦，係三個 x square 啦 ，cos 3x 加比 2x sin 3x。第二條 ，given that 二 y 等於 x 減 sin x cos x，x 係由零至到二派 ，so that d y by d x 等於 sin square x。我哋知道 y 咧係等於二分之一個 x 減 sin x cos x 咯 ，dy by dx 咯係等於二分之一啦。呢、这個 d 咗之後係一啦，然之後減俾寫前面係 sin 咯 ，d 後面係 cos 就變 sin 啦，不過係負數咯。跟住加俾寫後面就係 cos x 咯 ，d 前面就係變。cos x， 所以係二分之一一減俾 sin square x 啦，然之後啊一加俾 sin square x 啦，係減俾 cos square x 嘅。我哋知道一咧就係等於 sin square x 加 cos square x， 再加 sin square x 減 cos square x。呢兩個 cancel 啦，呢度係兩個 sin square x 除比二，亦即係等於 sin square x， 所以我哋就 proof。第二條嘅 B part find the coordinate of the points of inflections of the curve。我哋知道 dy by dx 係等於 sin square x from part A 咯，而 d square y by dx square d 多一次就會等於兩個 sin x cos x 咯。As the point of inflection, d square y d x square 係會等於兩個 sin x cos x 咯，等於零。所以 sin x 等於零啦，或者係 cos x 等於零。如果 sin x 等於零 ，x 等於零或者 x 等於派 cos x 等於零 ，x 等於派除二或者係三派除二。但我哋知道 x 係由零至到二派，不包括零，所以呢一個咧會係 reject。我哋會有三個 x 嘅答案 ：x 等於派 ，x 等於派除二，同埋 x 等於三派除二。當 x 等於派除二 ，y 咧係等於二分之一個 x 減 sin x cos x。呢個會係零，所以。x 係派除二，所以係二分之一乘派除二，所以係派除四。所以其中一個 point of inflection 啦，就係 x 等於派除二 ，y 等於派除四。第二個 point of inflection 就係 x 等於派 ，y 係等於二分之一個派減 sin x cos x， 亦即係二分之一派。呢、这個會係零。所以就係派除二。第二個 point 就係 x 等於派 ，y 就等於派除二。第三個 point 就係 x 等於三派除二 ，y 亦都等於二分之一個三派除二減 sin 三派除二 cos 三派除二。呢、这個唔使計，因為呢個會係零。我哋就會計到啦，係三派除比四，所以第三個 point of inflection 就係三派除二 for x， 三派除四 for y， 呢個係三個 point of inflection。第三條 differentiate with respect to x sin x 除比 x，x 係大過零，所以 dy by dx 係等於 x cos x minus。sin x 除比 x square，b 就係 log 一除比 x square 加九，我哋 let u 等於一除比 x square 加九 ，y 係等於 log u 
dy by du 係等於一除俾 u， 而 du by dx 就會係等於 x square 加九乘俾零減俾一乘俾二 x 除俾 x square 加九嘅二次方，就會係等於二 x 除俾 x square 加九嘅二次方。而 dy by dx 就會係等於 dy by du 乘比 du by dx。dy by du 就係一除比 u， 一除比 u，u 係一除比 x square 加九，一除比 u 啦，就係 x square 加九除比一，乘比 du by dx 就係二 x 除比 x square 加九嘅二次方，所以係二 x 除比 x square 加九嘅。二次方，亦即係等於二 x 除比 x square 加九，咁呢個就係 d y by d x。第四條 a， the function f is defined for positive real number real value， 即係一個正嘅數字咯。of x by the f x equal to twelve log x 加俾 x 嘅二分之三次方。Find the set of values of x for which f x is an increasing function。嗱，咩叫 increasing function 啦？啊，如果有個 function f x x 係向上升嘅話咧 ，f x 就會係向上升；而 x 係向下跌啦 ，f x 就會係向下跌。呢個就係 increasing function。我哋要揾到邊個範圍令到呢個 f x 係一個 increasing function？ 我哋知道 x 係大過零，所以啦。f x 啦，係等於 twelve log x 加俾 x 三除俾二，而 f x 加俾 x 一，而 x 一係一個正數啊 ，x 一係大過零，就會係等於 twelve log x 加 x 一加俾 x 加 x 一嘅二分之三次方。我哋知道 twelve log x 加 x 一係大過 twelve log x， 而 x 加俾 x 一嘅二分三次方係大過 x 嘅二分三次方。好明顯 ，f x 加 x 一係會大過 f x， 所以呢個係一個 increasing function。for x 係大過。零呢、这個範圍就會令到呢個 f x 係一個 increasing function。第四條嘅 B find the coordinates of the points of infection of the function f x equal to twelve log x plus x to the power three over two。So we have to differentiate this one time. So f dash x is equal to twelve over x plus 3 over 2 x to the power half。我哋再 d 多一次 ，f dash dash x 係等於負十二個除俾 x square 加俾三除俾四個 square root x， 亦即係等於負四十八加俾三 x 嘅二分三次方除俾呢一個四 x 嘅 square。咁喺個 point of infection 嘅時候咧，呢一嚿嘢就會等於零，所以係負四十八加俾三 x 嘅二分三次方，除俾四 x square 等於零，亦即係上高呢嚿等於零，亦即係等於負四十八加三 x 三除二次方就會等於零。咁所以三 x 三除二次方咧就會係等於四十八。所以我要計到 x 嘅三 over 二等於十六，所以 x 咧係等於十六嘅三分二，亦即係等於 keep root 二百五十六。呢個係 x value。我將呢個 x value 啦，係擺落去 f x 裏邊啦。f x 係等於 twelve log x 加俾 x 三除俾二，將呢一嚿抌落去，計翻個 y。咁、这、呢個 y 咧就會係等於啦，就係 twelve 啦 log 二五六
嘅三分之二啦，加比二五六嘅三分之二啦，乘比啊，二五六嘅三分之一，又加比二五六嘅三分之一啦，乘比系二分之三，又约咗系即系二分一，所以系等于十二个 log 二五六嘅三分之一。加比二五六嘅二分之一，二五六嘅二分之一即系十六，所以我哋就会得出啦，呢个 log 啦，我哋将个十二攞上去啦，就系二五六嘅四咯，加比十六，二五六嘅四亦即系二嘅三十二，加比十六，亦即系等于三十二个 log 二加比十六，呢个系 y 嘅 value。咁所以個 point of infection 咯，就會係等於啦 ，cube root two hundred and fifty six and y is equal to forty two log two per sixteen。呢個就係 point of infection。第五條 f x 等於 e to the power 零點五 x 減 x square x 係 belong to any real number。Find the f dash x。So f dash x Is equal to point five e to the power point five x 係減比二 x。跟住五條 b by evaluation f dash six and f dash seven show that the curve of the equation y equal to f x as a stationary point as x equal p where p 係 within 六同埋七。我哋揾翻 f dash 六咯，係等於。二零點五乘六啦，除俾二減俾二乘六，亦即係等於二嘅三次方減廿四除俾二，亦即係等於二十點零九減廿四除俾二。呢、这個咧會係細過零嘅。跟住落嚟啦，我哋揾 f dash seven 咯，係等於二零點五乘七咯。除俾二減二乘七，亦即係等於二嘅三點五減廿八除俾二，呢一個 value 啦係大過零嘅，所以 f dash 六啦，同埋 f dash 七啦 ，with 會有一個 difference size 唔同正負數，因為呢個係負數啦，呢個係正數。所以中間一定有個零，就 therefore 啦 ，y 等於 f x 咯 ，has a stationary point 啦 ，as x 等於 p， 而 p 啦係由六至到七，我哋會有 f dash p 啦，係會等於零喺呢個範圍裏邊嘅，我哋就會證明咗啦，嚇、啊、呢、这個 f dash p。會係一個 stationary point。第六條 ，the curve C has the equation y 等於 f x， where f x 等於三 log x 加比一除比 x， x 係大過零。The point P is a stationary point on C. Calculate the x coordinate of P。我哋揾 P 嘅 x coordinate。所以首先我係揾 f dash x 先先。f dash x 咧就係三除比 x 啦，係減比一。除俾 x square 嘅，咁亦即係三 x 減一除俾 x square。咁如果呢一個係一個 stationary point 嘅話，呢、這個就會係零啦。所以三 x 減一除俾 x square 係等於零，亦即係三 x 減一等於零 ，x 就係等於三分之一。咁所以個 x coordinate of the stationary point 咧就係三分之一嘅。B The point Q on C has a x coordinate equal to one. Is one equal to one? Find the equation of the normal to the C as Q. 我哋知道 f dash x 啦，系等于三 x 加减比一除比 x square 啦。所以 the loop of the tangent 啦 ，as x 等于一啦，就会系三乘一减一啦。除俾一嘅 square， 亦即係等於二。咁 the slope of the normal 啦 ，as point 啦 ，x 
等於一嘅話啦，就會係 m of normal 啦，呢個係 m of tangent 啦，呢個係 m of normal 啦，係負一除俾 m of tangent， 亦即係負二分之一嘅。我哋知道 m of normal 係等於負一除俾 m of tangent， 所以係等於負二分之一嘅。跟住落嚟，我哋揾 x 等於一嘅時候 ，y 等於幾多 ？y 就會係等於三 log 一加比一，亦即係等於一嘅。所以拜個 Poin's loop form 咯，嗰、那個 equation of the normal 就係 y 減 y 一乘比 m of normal 啦 ，loop of normal 啦，乘比 x 減比 x 一，嗯。x 一同 y 一都係一，所以 y 減一就等於負二分之一個 x 減一，亦即係 y 係等於負二分之一個 x 加比啦，係二分之三嘅。呢、这個就係個 normal equation as the point x 等於一 ，y 等於一。第七條 ，a population p is growing as the rate of nine percent， 九個 percent each year as the type t equal。T years may be approximately by the formula p equal to p zero one point oh nine to the power t when t is greater than or equal to zero, where p is regarded as a continuous function of t and p zero is the population as t equal to zero. A part find an expression for t in terms of p and p zero. 我哋有 p 等于 p zero 一点零九个 t。我哋 take log log p 等於 log p zero 一點零九 t 次方，亦即係等於 log p zero 加比 log 一點零九乘比 t。咁我哋攞個 t 過嚟呢一邊 ，t log 一點零九係等於 log p 減 log p 零。我哋就會得到 t 等於 log p 減 log p 零除俾 log 一點零九，呢個就係 t in terms of p and p zero。Part B find the time t， 呢個係 capital T years when the population has doubled from its values as t equal to zero。Given your answer to three significant figure， 當個 population 係 double 咗嘅時候啦，亦即係話 p 係等於二 p zero。我哋想揾下究竟呢個 t 係幾多？我哋知道啦，就係、是、t 啦，係等於 log p p， 亦即係二 p zero 啦，減俾 log p zero， 除俾 log 一點零九，亦即係等於 log 二除俾 log 一。點零九，我係攞個計數機出嚟計 log 二除俾 log 一點零九啦，我哋就會計到八點零四。嘟嘟嘟，我哋要嘅係 three significant figure， 就係八點零四個 years。最後 part C find a multiples of p zero the rate of change of population dp by dt as time t equal to capital T。我哋知道 capital T 啦，就係等於 log 二 over log 一點零九，我哋亦都知道 p 係等於 p zero 一點零九個 t 次方，我哋攞去個 dp by dt 咯，就會係等於 p zero 一點零九個 t 次方乘比 log 一點零九，咁一點零九嘅 t 次方啦，當 t 係等於 capital T。呢、这個 dp by dt 啦，就會係等於一點零九啦。capital T 就係 log 二除俾 log 一點零九，乘俾 log 一點零九。呢一個如果你計翻出嚟啦，因為一點零九嘅 log 二除俾一點零零九 ，log 一點零九次方啦，就會係等於二，所以係 p 乘俾二乘俾 log 一點零九。攞計數機出嚟計，攞計數機出嚟計 ，log 一點零九乘比二啦，係零點一七二個 p zero 嘅。
。第八條 ，given that y 等於 arc sine x 嘅 square， so that 一減 x square 乘俾 d square y by d x square 減俾 x d y by d x 減俾二等於零。咁我提醒大家啦，當 y 等於 arc sine x 啦 ，d y。by dx 啦，就係等於一除俾 square root 一減俾 x square 嘅。咁首先我哋要揾嘅就係 dy by dx 啦，就會係等於啦兩個 arc sine x 乘俾一除俾 square root 一減 x square 嘅，亦即係等於兩個 arc sine x 啦，除俾 square root 一減俾 x square 嘅。跟住我哋再 d 多一次 ，d square y by d x square 咯，就會係等於啦，兩個 square root 一減 x square 咯，乘俾一除俾 square root 一減 x square 咯，加俾二 x arc sin 咯 ，x 啊，乘俾二分一，再乘俾一減俾 x square 嘅二分一次方，全部除俾一減 x square 嘅。跟住我哋將佢 simplify 簡化咗之後啦，我哋就會計到啦 ，d square y by d square 就會等於二乘比一減 x square 嘅二分一，加比二 x arc sine x 除比呢一個一減 x square 嘅二分之三次方噶。我哋將呢個 d square y by d x 同埋 d y by dx 係 substitute 落呢條 equation 裏邊，我哋就會計到啦，一減俾 x square d square y by dx square 係減俾 x d y by dx 啦，減俾二啦，就會係等於啦，二乘俾一減 x square 嘅二分一啦，加俾兩個 x。arc sine x 啦，減俾兩個 x arc sine x 啦，再減俾兩個 square root 一減俾 x square 嘅，除俾一減俾 x square 嘅二分之一嘅。我哋上高啦，你會見到我哋可以呢個同呢個 cancel 啦，呢、這個同呢個 cancel 啦。所以基本上高係等於零啦，除俾一減俾 x square 嘅二分一啦，亦即係等於零嘅。咁我哋證明咗呢一條啦，就會係等於零嘅。Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one. 8526592-8609 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。